Hello everybody. I am in process of um, planting some propagations that I made into uh, what, what would that be? Put it into a pot. And I wanted to come on and talk to you at the same time as doing that. So you guys remember I was in Washington, so I've been gone for a while. So I had these propagating and the roots are super long. Hey, how are you? Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pot these. But while I do that at the same time, I wanted to talk to you guys about something, um, very much tied to our sense of self and our self-control while at the same time I'm doing this um, just so you can kind of see how I do it um, and if you want a video on how I propagate you can let me know this, and this will be a good way for those of you that want to be plant moms and dads but you're on a budget you could just buy one plant and you can learn to um, take pieces off of that one plant to make multiple plants my aunt gave me a plant and so far I've made one two three four at least five plants off of it and this will be the sixth plant so i got six plants off of one um and i'll so i can show you guys how to do it if you want while i am doing this let me just show you what i'm going to be using and then i'm going to give you the lesson of the day because it's tied into our sense of self and our sense of loving ourselves. and i think that we have this issue with uh maybe put in our sense of self-love and a lot of external things and then we find that we're disappointed when we're not getting that love in return or when we get results that are disappointing and so um we give up on ourselves so we have the plants that i propagated again if you want me to do a separate video on that leave me a comment and i'll do that and then this pot was just a pot from an old plant that I bought at Whole Foods that actually died. The only plants that I cannot keep alive are succulents. <laughs> so this was an old pot here. Um, I like to use stones. Typically, I'll tell you when I'm doing it. Typically, I like to use smaller pebbles because they help keep those, those little bugs that fly around out of your plant. But I don't have any of those, so I'm just gonna use these. And I just got these at Walmart. I think it was $4 for a big jar and I don't use anything fancy for potting again I just use regular old potting mix from I think that was from Walmart for a few dollars so the first thing that I do is some people say you know you could put gravel you said you always get succulents my plants must be able to survive neglect N yeah you would think I would be able to and I'm not even I travel a lot but for some reason those are the ones I always kill um, and thanks for the comment on the nails. So I'm going to start by putting, you're going to see me put the potting mix into the planter um, just a little bit, maybe halfway. Then I will put my succulents in, or excuse me, not my succulents, my cuttings in. And then I'm going to put more dirt and then I'm just going to layer it with the um, rocks at the top. So let's talk about self-love while I'm doing this. Because again, like I was saying, so much of our sense of self is tied to um, things that we cannot control and so we spend all of this time trying to change circumstances and convince people to give us what we need and then we find out that no matter what no matter how much effort we expend what we end up doing in our relationships and in these circumstances when we don't get our needs met is we end up getting burnt out because we expend a lot of time and energy on, again, things that we can't control. And what you end up doing in those situations is you end up missing out on an opportunity to spend your time on things that you actually can control. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what that means because if you for instance are in a relationship and the relationship is a disrespectful one or you feel like you're not getting your needs met or it's not matching up to the expectations that you have in the relationship a lot of times what we tend to want to do is we want to fight <laughs> for those relationships or we want to fight to make people understand us or validate us for 
you know, the things that we're going through or to get them to give us what we need because, you know, we show up in our relationships giving 110% and we wonder why our partners or the people that we interact with don't want to do the same thing. So you spend a lot of time basing your sense of self-worth on those type of situations, right? And no matter what, you're not going to be able to control what people do or want to do or say or think about you because we all have the ability to make our own choices and decisions in life, right? Um, so that's one thing. The second thing that we do is we let our failures um, steal our confidence. We believe that just because something didn't turn out right the first time that we tried to do it, that it's not going to ever turn out right. And so because of our missteps or our sidesteps or our misstarts, we start to lose faith in our ability that we can, you know, create the life that we want or accomplish the goals that we want. And that ends up getting us into a lot of trouble as well because we just give up <laughs> or we um, don't have faith, which means that you don't believe that things could happen. You don't have to have the evidence of it. You don't have to like believe in your ability, but you don't have faith in yourself that if you did the things that you needed to do, that you would have positive results because of your misstarts, not giving yourself um, grace for the fact that maybe you didn't have the right skills, the right plan, the right education. And because of those things, you are missing out on a fact that maybe you did not fail. Maybe you just didn't have what you needed to have in place in order to be successful. And those are two different things. But because of that, we let those things sap our self-confidence. And then again, these circumstances that we have no control over, such as these relationships, or um, maybe some of you have had some traumatic experiences that you know you didn't call in, but they were very impactful to you. You you let those take away your faith and your ability, your confidence and your ability to acquire the skills that you need, the knowledge that you need, and the resources that you need to be able to be successful. Yet we spend all of our time trying to change the circumstances and the people instead of really digging in deep to what's going to make things change and what creates true change in our life is actually focusing on ourself and focusing on rebuilding our relationship with ourself and our confidence that we've let relationships and people steal from us and our ability in ourselves to have what we want to have um, in spite of all the things that we may have been through before. So when you can't change, when you understand that you can't change these things, there's something miraculous that will open up for you. And so I want you to understand that as we have this brief conversation today, um, just because you can't change those things doesn't mean that your future has to stay the same. And the way that your future changes is by a choice and a decision that you make. When you accept that you're not gonna be able to change other people and that there are circumstances that are out of your control, then you start to look at life in a different way because you actually open up opportunities for your future and you can begin to shape your future better because you get to decide maybe not what happened to you in the past, maybe not how people treat you in your relationships, even though you're giving them 100%, or maybe not the circumstances, maybe you hate your job or whatever, but you get to make decisions from the present moment now about how your future is gonna be, and that's how these opportunities come, and you're not gonna notice that if you're spending so much time focused on you know, the negativity and giving yourself, um, putting yourself through the ringer with self doubt and all of those type of things. So the question you need to ask yourself is what are you going to decide for now? You know, you tried to be in the relationship. It didn't work out. Now what? You tried to change things in the past and it didn't go the way that you wanted it to. Now what? And you can't change circumstances, but you really don't like where you are right now but you know right, you can't change that circumstance. So now what? Maybe you have to 
work on removing yourself from circumstances or gathering the strength and the abilities and the skills that you need to improve your life. Or maybe you start to value and love yourself a little bit more. And as you develop that sense of love and self-worth that was stolen from you, then you're able to cultivate better relationships than you ever could imagine. But the problem is, yes, you do this step about making that decision so that you can move forward and create more opportunity in your life. But at the same time, you may find that you feel frustrated or you feel stuck because, like I said, maybe when you've tried it in the past, you didn't have the right plan. You didn't have the right ability, the skills or the knowledge or whatever to be able to do that appropriately. So you just feel stuck and that's OK because at least when you know that you feel stuck, you're in this place where you don't feel comfortable. And so you know that something has to change. And the question is, are you gonna be able to do the change? And so I'm gonna talk to you about something that's going on in June. So um, you can make some of those changes a little bit easier if you understand what I'm talking to you about today. So if you need help getting past your hurts, your pains, the things that you don't like about yourself, that negative voice that you have in your head saying that you're not good enough or thinking that every time you try something you fail and so what's the point or you want to try to create something better for yourself and move past all that pain and that frustration and that, um, you know, just the, the hurts that we experience as we try to navigate this world. And so what I'm doing in June is it's totally, it's totally free. <laughs> it's a self love challenge. It's a five day free challenge. That's going to take you through five lessons that is going to help you connect to loving yourself more. And when I say self love, I don't mean self care. I don't mean one day we're going to throw a mask on and the next day we're going to have a glass of wine or do all those things. Self love to me goes deeper than that because again, those masks and baths and all those things, they're external things that will temporarily put a bandaid on that negative voice that you have or that thing that's taken away your self-confidence or the thing that um, makes you doubt your ability to have something good or happy in your life. That's temporary. What's going to be more permanent, more lasting is if we can together dig deeper into the things that cause those issues get to the root cause and then in our time together shape and transform those type of things so that you can start to move forward more confidently you can start to understand that you have everything that you need to have success in your life and to have better relationships in your life and so for those five days we have five mini lessons that i'll be sending to you um, and then we also will have some Q and a time and you will have uh, access to me so we could do some lives and some coaching and things like that, because I just really feel like a lot of the struggle around trying to move forward is about forgiving ourselves and having that confidence in ourselves and understanding that just because we had trauma in the past or because we had prior past experiences, it doesn't mean that our whole life and our future has to be that way. And so if this is something that you are interested in, you can go to the link in my Instagram bio and you can sign up for the free challenge. It starts on June 6th. It also comes with a private community aspect so that we can go in and support each other and you can ask questions and just be accountable to each other. I'm already overwhelmed at the number of people that have signed up for it. So again, totally free if you Listen to the lesson today and you want to learn how to focus on things you can control to really better your life and love yourself more and quiet that negativity, then this is a challenge for you. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Oh, for those of you that want to be plant moms or dads and you want me to show you an easy way to propagate these plants, just let me know because I'm done with this one already and you saw it only took a few minutes. The longest part is just waiting for the roots to grow. Anyway, talk to you. Any questions at all? All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.